We are back on Smells Like 90s Rock, and DJ Pervy has joined yeah, us in I'm the here. studio. Good to have you here, Ooh. as always. Good to see you, Todd. Good to see you, too. Um, what did I miss last week? Well, uh, a whole lot, actually. Sheila and I, uh, actually, we, we posted a bunch of, se- I had a ton of segments to repost on our Facebook pages this week, because we had so much going on. We, what, the first thing we talked about, and I wish she was here, but uh, she's not tonight. Uh, she is. The fact that my car got messed up last week. It did? Real bad. Is it okay? Well, actually, it was, it was Saturday. It was the Saturday before Easter. I did was, you forget to give it its flu shot? No. It, no, it didn't get sick. But it did uh, uh, have yeah. problems. Uh, on the Saturday before Easter, I was driving home, uh, and uh, I needed to pull over in the shoulder and, and get something from the back of the car. And when I pull over to the shoulder, I was still kind of going, you know, normal interstate speed. Gotcha. And, uh, and, and I had a pothole, which I, I could only describe. <laughs> oh, dude. It was as big and as deep as Neyland Stadium. I mean, that was it was huge. Dude, and I've, I've done it. Mm-hmm. It sucks. And it was and it scary. Was, it was. And it was an, one of those inevitable things. I was just looking at it like, I'm going to have to hit this, and I don't want to. And sure enough, kaboom, kaboom. You couldn't get back over on the show, on into the lane. Well, no, I mean there was More cars. cars. I mean, so, well. so I couldn't do that. And I wasn't going to swerve. I wasn't going to make a big scene out of it. But you I, should have. I, well, you should have made. You should have gone die hard well, and I, swerved. Regardless, I hit the hole, and uh, that's what she said. And <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> oh, I set, Todd! I set myself up for uh, my own. Yeah. Evil. It is. But I so I hit the hole and and I thought it was fine. It was driving fine. But then I noticed as the days went by, I was leaning more and more like this in my car when I was See driving. What? And what happened was is I I destroyed the shocks on the left side of my car and my Dude. springs were sitting on my tire mm-hmm. and uh, messed up my frame. So I had to go take it home to my hometown. What did it cost you? Uh, it was uh, about four hundred and fifty buck uh, fix there. Uh, that's not not too that's bad. That's not awful, really, no, for what it sounds like. That's not awful. I th- we thought it was gonna be worse, really, but uh, but I took it home because I d- no offense, Knox, but I don't trust many of your com- mechanics around here, y'all. Especially like the uh, corporate what? corporate mechanics. I've not, uh, I've gone to places around here. They're not bad. Well, they're no, they're, they're not, not bad. They they're not. It's not that they're bad. It's just uh, you I don't I, trust them. Every single time that I get something done, my cousin's boyfriend is a mechanic here. Thank you very much. No, no, no. I'm talking about like your pet boys. You know, I'm talking about. He works at a Firestone. Thank you very much. Firestone's fine, probably. I'm talking. There's just certain groups. I shouldn't be naming. Wait, names. To, way to save it, dude. Yeah, but there's certain groups that I have taken. <laughs> I won't. I won't name any more names, but there's certain groups I've taken my vehicle to. And mysteriously, Jerks. every every single time that I get something done, just something normal like an oil change, like a couple days later, something strange happens to the vehicle. This well, it was all it's all it's and it's never failed, Pervy. Because I've lived in Knoxville. Every time I take my car to a mechanic here in Knoxville, somehow it mysteriously messes up a couple days later. Uh, the last time I got my oil changed in October, and two days after I got it changed, my battery destroyed, just died. Well, just completely kaput. And uh, maybe that's your it was fault. no, it was a battery that was a year old. So okay, yeah, it fig- probably shouldn't have been. Yeah, <laughs> so figure something, figure that out, folks. So I said never again to mechanics here in Knoxville. So I took it home, like Boy. I said, over the uh, on Monday and uh, got it fixed on Tuesday. Right. And uh, cars are fixed now. But uh, but yeah, that was that was the first half of last week's show. I was talking about that, and then um, you know we were talking about Godzilla. We yeah. Talk- we were I'm, ta- I'm excited. I'm not she, even well, going to pretend. Sheila was saying that she thinks it's going to be a, a, a horrible, it, horrible it, show. Are any of them good? Okay. Well, none of them. I, I mean, you have to think about none of them well, are you, good. You, 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 but you, that's that, the charm. It's not fair to to judge Godzilla from the past because that's what people wanted to see was the guy in the rubber suit destroying a model in the corner. You know, Heck yeah. You know, that was that was awesome. I wanted to, see, to be that know? guy. Yeah, it was cool, and it was in you know it was in vogue at that time to do stuff like that. So Wait, hold on, uh, we've got a phone call, but phone's still on. but anyway, that was the whole point, you know. And no phones, uh, but yeah. So that's what happens. What wants, is it? Uh, Our caller wants to talk about Godzilla, and he wants to be on the air. Should we make that a thing? Uh, watch your language. That's all I ask. Uh, but yes, here we go. All right, sir. Caller, give you us, us your opinion. If you'd like to make a call. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Oh. Can we just leave this up for a minute? Just, just to hear that? Yeah. Oh, well, he's already gone. So. Oh. Sorry, sir. Well, sorry about that. We were just getting you set up. I love that. That's in a, that's going in the blooper books for sure. We just made the blooper reel. Oh. <laughs> that's right. All, anyway. of the, all of the sound effects for that one. All the sound effects. No, anyway. no sound effects. 
But anyway, uh, but Godzilla. We were talking about Godzilla, and uh, we were. God, Sheila thinks it's going to be one of the worst movies ever made. It probably will. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, none of them are good. Mm-mm. That's the thing. None of but, them are really good. And she also found out that they're making a movie about Jim. Remember Jim from the eighties? She's like, a, no. Uh, well, well, what's Jim? Uh, Jim's like a like gymnasium. Jim? No, J J E M. Not and not our college either. No, it's uh, it's. It's like a girl. It's like she was like a teenage girl that would turn into a rock star, sort of like a My, like a Hannah Montana type Miley thing, Cyrus kind sort of thing. thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, In the eighties, it was a cartoon, and they're turning it into a live action movie, and she's really upset about that too. Well, Sheila gets upset about lots of things. She so does. She she's proven to her credit. She's proven that time and time and again. But yes, so that, I I mean that's not a, a movie I'm gonna see. I'm no. pro- I may not even see Godzilla. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna see lie. Godzilla. I'm gonna give it a chance. I want to give it a chance. I want yeah. this to work. I might me. see it for nostalgia's sake, just so I could nerd out for a minute. Yeah, but, why not? You know. I mean, it look it's billed to be like fairly good. I mean, like let's see, yeah, one okay. of the guys from like the Christopher Nolan movies is in it, right? And Brian, uh, and Brian Cranston. Is Brian himself. Cranston from Breaking Bad. Breaking in Bad. It. You, I mean, that's all Some you need. Some fairly really. high profile people are that's in this movie, need. and that's... it's probably going to be awful. Of course, there were high profile. Pro- yeah, exactly. High profile people in the last one too. But can you, oh, yeah, why would were, you have Matthew Broderick as a uh, as an action star? It just doesn't work, though. Hey, he wasn't really. I mean, like I never looked at this dude and just thought, yeah, you are going to defeat Godzilla. But Brian Cranston's a badass, so he's going to bring something to this movie. Yeah. So. He's a badass in the sense that he was on AMC. I then. I never, I never watched Breaking Bad. <laughs> I never really thought. I never show. thought of him as a badass. Well, he is.